Tonight, One Valley Nonprofit is giving help with tips on updating your resume and looking for work. News Channel 3's Patrick Evans sits down with Desert Best Friends Closet to find out more. Well, good evening. I am joined by Connie Golds, who is the executive director of Desert Best Friends Closet, which is an organization that's really dedicated to helping people get back into the workforce. Connie, thanks for being here. Happy to be here. This uh, obviously is a time where a lot of people were suddenly out of work. And so you guys have a kind of a twofold problem. One, you've got a lot of clients to serve. And two, you've still got to manage the, the virus crisis. Yes. Yes. So when the pandemic first hit, you know, we shut down like everybody else, followed the governor's orders and really thought we would just be shut down for two weeks. Uh, once it became very clear that this was going to be lasting longer than two weeks, we, we have workshops that we offer. We have our program called Bridge to Employment, where we teach clients how to look for work, um, brush them up on their, um, on their resume skills, uh, on their, help them with their mock, their interview skills through mock interviews. We really, you know, how to look for work, where to look for work, how to present themselves effectively. So we did a pivot and put our workshops up on Zoom. So, um, and that has been very effective. I was a little concerned because not everybody has Wi-Fi, but we were able to work with that. Um, and so very happy about that. I also uh, took a class from Heather Shar uh, Heather, how to go from zero to hero on YouTube. And so I've put some instructional YouTube's uh, videos up on our YouTube channel so that anyone can access those to learn things about. So I have a series of YouTube videos called Get Hired. Um, so we're really trying to help people with that. Uh, we reopened our boutique June 1st. Um, so that is open to the public Monday through Thursday, 10 to 4. What can folks do to help you right now? Folks can do two things. Number one, you know, we are a nonprofit. We're always looking for money. Um, normally, to become a client of ours, you have to be referred to us from one of our referral partners because we do, we never charge our clients, but we do build back the referral partner. Or we have a couple of programs that are funded. Um, we have a youth attire program that's funded through the RAP and Anderson's Children Foundation. The City of Indian Wells funds are a program where we work with homeless. So we would like to as people start looking for work there's going to be opportunities out there but many people will not have a job to return to because that is the reality of our situation right now and they may not have the skills or know how to brush up the resume or maybe they've always had this job and have not looked for work have not had an interview and they just really need to brush up on their skills so uh, we would like to open up our programs but we need to do that with money so if anyone wants to make a donation they can go to our web page bfcloset.org and make a donation there. Uh, people are also cleaning out their closets. We would love to have them to donate their clothes to us. We do have donation guidelines and we are asking donors to make appointments uh, because we have contactless donations. Um, so those are the main two things or sign up to volunteer. Those are the things people can do to help us and we'd really so appreciate that. Give us that website again so everybody has it. It's bfcloset.org. Be like best, F like friend, and then closet. Easy to remember. Connie, thank you so much. We appreciate what you're doing for the community, and we hope thank and we know that the community will step up and do for you as well. Yes, I do. We so appreciate the support we've been given, and thank you so much for your time, Patrick. Absolutely.